We are joined by Media Tech Capital Partners Managing Partner Porter Bibb. And it was interesting to see the director, Andrew Stanton, talk about right. the other movies he was talking about because all of those were box office hits as it, well. Exactly. And he's one of the, the most uh, successful Pixar directors in history. Uh, but he'd never directed a live action film. And this is a disaster in the making right from, the, from that point. Right. Similarly, the Disney marketing team, and, they, and they're plu perfect. They're, they, Disney is without question the best marketing, uh, media marketing organization in the business. Right. They, they br brought in a whole new team just at, at the time that John Carter was being launched. Right. None of them had ever, ever launched a tentpole picture. They, they were television marketing people. So the whole thing was a predetermined disaster. Disaster, and, yeah. and it turned that way for Disney. Now, yeah. and there's another one that's in the making right now: the, the Lone Ranger that Disney is, is going to release next year. Uh, the word is really, really bad on the leaks that have been coming out of that one. This is Johnny Depp as Tonto. <laughs> okay, maybe even that alone, but perhaps. The, the <laughs> message is, Betty. The tentpole pictures are probably over right now. The studios have been relying on these huge mega. What do you mean by tentpole? Well, the, the pictures that cost several hundred million dollars okay. and, and can can uh, be extended into sequel after sequel after sequel. Then why does Disney keep committing this mistake then? Well, I, I think that they may have second thoughts now the, because when you see what a, a studio like Lionsgate can do with something like like uh, Hunger Games or what what Summit, which Lionsgate just acquired, yes. did with the Twilight. Series, Series. These are not mega buck pictures. These are very modest budget pictures. The, the, the interesting thing: Disney spent 150 million dollars promoting John Carter, and they got nowhere, yeah. and, and it died on the first night that it was opened. Hunger Games budget for marketing, which extends over 12 to 14 months, is less than 45 million dollars, mm. and it's one of the best marketing programs in business. So, what was the key then for the Hunger Games? What, well, what's the key? first of all, as, as John Ehrlichman said, you've got to have the story, uh, the, the idea of teenagers fighting to the death yeah. um, is, is a very compelling story. Secondly, the, the John Carter was based on a 100-year-old book by Ed, Edgar Rice Burroughs with a different title, Princess from Mars. Mm. Hunger Games is a trilogy that has sold... So it was a compelling storyline. Compelling storyline, but the books uh, have sold 24 million copies already, okay. so you've got a, a predetermined audience that wants to see the movie. Right, but but also the Hunger Games was and Lionsgate, you know, uh, had sort of made this marketing sort of more viral, right? They well, they went through social totally. media networks. Yeah, they they understand that the shift in in both the the sociographic and demographic of, of, of moviegoers is now really really focused on digital and and mobile media and the internet. The old studios concept of big heavy blockbuster carpet bombing of television ads two or three days before a picture opens and lots of newspaper ads and maybe some bus station posters that's out of that, that's gone because they're not hitting the people who 80 percent of the people who go to the movies are 18 to 24 right and and they're they're on their smartphones and their ipads 24 7 so that's how you reach them so then would you say that other studios are going to take a page oh, from totally. this marketing yeah, and they're yeah. going to do the same thing yeah they, uh, lionsgate has set set the benchmark now for marketing of major movies uh, and are you surprised it's it's lionsgate to do this well they they don't have much of a chance they didn't have the the wherewithal that disney does and they don't have the team. They have a very small marketing team, uh, very limited resources, so you make it work. But they, they understand the market and the moviegoer, and okay. the big studios don't really do that yet. Seems that way. What did you say? You said 3,000 theaters are sold out this Yeah, it opens weekend? at 1201, and, and uh, IMAX on the 3D version of Hunger, they, they're sold out for three weeks. My goodness. All right. I've, I've lost my chance it's to gonna, get it. It's going to be the biggest opening uh, in the last several years. Incredible. Porter, thank you very much for joining us here. Pleasure. Porter Bibb of MediaTek.